This is a demonstration video on how to use the hammerhead. This video will show you how to use both the automatic and the signal strength mode. Turn on the hammerhead by holding down the power button. The display will show the remaining battery capacity in percent for NICAD, nickel metal hydride, and alkaline batteries. Since we have a test beacon at 121.775 MHz, we will select this frequency. The default frequency is 121.5, which is the emergency beacon frequency. Next step after selecting the frequency is installing the two antennas, one on top and one on bottom. Let's take a closer look at the front display. There are eight directional indicators shown here in red. When lit, they indicate the direction of the signal. Normally, only one of the directional indicator is on at a time. For example, if the top LED is lit, this indicates that the beacon is directly in front of the hammerhead. A carrier detect indicator is on the lower left corner of the front display. When this is lit, it indicates that a signal from a beacon has been detected. The signal strength is shown as a two-digit number. Since the hammerhead is directional, the maximum signal strength will occur when the hammerhead is pointed directly at the beacon. Now we are ready to start with a real demonstration. The test beacon was placed 1,000 feet away. The sound of the beacon can be heard through the speaker of the hammerhead. It sounds like a police car siren. We are going to rotate the hammerhead a full circle to demonstrate the directional indicators. First, notice that when we rotate the hammerhead to the right, the directional indicator rotates to the left, indicating that the beacon is on our left side. As we continue to rotate the hammerhead further, the bottom indicator lights up, indicating that the beacon is behind us. As we continue to rotate even further, the right indicators light up, indicating that the beacon is on the right side. Finally, the top indicator lights up to show that the beacon is directly in front of the hammerhead. We are going to show you this video clip again, this time at regular speed. Pay attention to the signal strength. The maximum signal strength is 57, while the minimum is 53. The signal strength can be used to verify that the direction is correct. It can also be used for finding the beacon when the signal level is so low that the directional indicators do not work. Here's the way to find the beacon using signal strength only. We're going to rotate the beacon in one direction until the signal strength falls off. Then we're going to mark that position. Next. We're going to rotate in the opposite direction and mark the location where the signal strength falls off. The beacon is going to be in between the two directions that we've marked. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the hammerhead.